In this video, we will check how to create Google Web Stories using third-party apps and plugins. So, if you do not want to use the Google Web Story plugin, so do we still have any option for creating these web stories or not? And we will also check the pros and cons of these web applications. So, coming up. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we create videos related to WordPress, social media and search engine optimization. So if you like content like this then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Alright, with that said, this is the third video in the series of Google Web Stories and today we will talk about the plugins which we can use to create these Google Web Stories without using the Google Web Stories plugin. So let's see what are these plugins and apps are. Alright, so if you go to the official page of amp.dev about the stories and here it shows the options by which we can go ahead and create web stories without using Google plugin. So one is make stories another one is newsroom ai which, which is a paid plugin and i think they do have some seven or 15 days trial period we'll be only covering the free plugins in this video so next one is visual stories so first of all let's go ahead and take a look at make stories and let's see how this works all right so this is the main website of make stories it's in beta version right now and it's almost looks like an advanced version of that google plugin which we have seen and looks very close to canva and other image editing applications online so let's go ahead and sign in so let me just log into my account so right now I am inside my account and here is the first dashboard. Here are the two stories which I have created using their platform. And let me show you how the interface actually looks like. So we will go ahead and create a new story and let's see how it works. All right, so I'll be giving you a quick tour and I won't go in a much detail and it's very much like the Google WordPress plugin, but with some advanced features here. So first of all, we will go ahead and select a background for our slides. And then we can also choose the layout. We have the ready-made template showing here. Or maybe we can use our own save template, which I have done for my stories. Um, for example, let's say we will use this one. If you want to add a complete set, it will be importing all the slides. And if you want, we can just go ahead and add single slides here. So let's go ahead and delete the first one. At a first look, you can see that it's very professionally designed and looks way better than the Google WordPress plugin. And if you want to add a new text, we have headings and paragraphs. Below that, we have layers. If you want to arrange these elements just the same way we do in the WordPress plugin. And if we need to import any image, we have the image library. So you have access to all free images from a website known as Unsplash. And also you can add elements like some little illustrations and custom shapes. It's very similar to online tools like Canva. So if you have ever used those tools, you will find it pretty easy to handle. The new thing here is that you can also add your music so that it will be playing in the background of your slides, which is not yet present in the WordPress plugin of Google Web Stories. So hopefully they will add that as well. All right, so here is the first slide. We have our title, we have the sliding bars on the top, we have the second slide here, here we have the sharing icon, almost like the same way we did in our using our WordPress plugin. So once we back in our editor, we can go ahead and save this as our template. Now let's go ahead and check some settings on the right hand side panel. Here we have the first section as design, which will show the design option of a particular slide. If we click on the first slide, we have the image settings here. We can enter the alt text for the image used on this slide, so which is something good for SEO. You can also apply some filters on the image used. And if you go to animation, here is the animation part, which you can add animation to your different elements. If I go ahead and click on this button, I can add animation effect to fade in. So this will fade in and it will fly out. We can try different animations for various elements. The next is the settings tab, which will show us the settings for the whole story, not one slide. So the first option is bookend. So if we select all, we will see all of these sharing options at the with the sharing icon, which was showing on the top here. And we have a 
option of SEO where we can select the post type. So if your story is like an article or an event or a recipe, so you can select the type of post it is. Is it an article, event or recipe? So which is a good point for SEO purpose again. We have the publisher setting, we have the publisher name, the logo, favicon icon and the poster. Almost the same settings that we have seen in WordPress plugin. And another good thing here is that you can add a Google Analytics tracking ID which was actually missing in the WordPress plugin of Google Web Stories which is a big drawback for that plugin and I really hope that they can fix it in the final release. Because what's the point of these story posts if you can't track it in Google Analytics? Right now you cannot do it in WordPress plugin but here they say that you can do. So good to know that. And also we have a Facebook pixel. Alright, so you can also turn on and off the auto advance same way that we do in WordPress plugin. And along with that you can also do a cursor tracker. I'm not sure how it works but it is there. So if you want you can go ahead and try it. So this is how you can use this online tool to create Google web stories for your website. And let me show you how you can link these stories back to your website or any blog post. So let's go ahead and publish this first. Once I hit on publish, I have see two options, publish as web story or we can export for social media. So let's go ahead and first take a look at publish for web stories. So we have an option to export this whole thing as a zip file. You will get all the images and the code so that you can add it to your website if you are not using WordPress. You can also publish the story files as a zip to your FTP so you can directly go ahead and upload the files on your server and use it right away or you can just go ahead and embed this script on your page and it will be showing the web story from their website to your blog post or anywhere where you wish to embed that but I really doubt if that will help you in SEO in any way. So here's the thing which we are more interested in how to connect this to our WordPress website. So you need to link your WordPress website to this application. You need to enter your website URL, the host and here you need to enter the story slug. It will be the URL for your story and below that you need to enter the WordPress username and password so that they can log in and then add the story to your backend. And here is something very interesting. If you go ahead and add a story slug here you cannot change it in future. You, there is no way you can edit that. So make sure you enter the story slug very carefully. So once you publish that, it will go linked in your WordPress account. Let me show you some example that I have done. If you go back to our dashboard, we have the two stories which I have already created and this is the third one. Now let me go back to my WordPress website where I have connected the WordPress plugin and given this application access using WordPress login and password so that every time I create a story it should be linked to my website. So let's go ahead and log in into the website and see how it works. As you can see I was using Google's plugin as well here to create my stories. Now once you are in the WordPress backend you need to go to your plugin section and click on add new. And here we need to type in make stories and this is the plugin we need to install. I have already added that and activated that and they actually got one star from someone and I think there is a valid reason to it and I'll show you in a minute why. So once you activate the plugin, all the web stories that you publish using this tool will get connected to your website. Now let's talk about some of the problems with this plugin and they are really some big problems which I have already mentioned to the developers and I really hope they will fix it soon. Now as we have seen in the previous video if we use the Google WordPress plugin to create stories we can create a page like this where we can showcase all our web stories. Now can we do the same thing with this plugin? Let's find out. If instead of these Google web stories if we go to query and instead of stories if I choose web stories which is the URL or the slug automatically created when we use the make stories plugin. So if we use the Google web story plugin they will create post types like stories and if we use this make story plugin they will create post types web stories. But there is no way you can see that web stories in your backend of WordPress. Now. Now as soon as we change our source to web stories to fetch all the stories created by make story plugin or make story app, 
you can see that it's not showing anything it's just show, even it's not even showing the correct title not even the actually featured image or we can say the poster image so this is a big bug and if you notice there are three stories here and the one which we have created now is not actually published from their backend but you can see that there are four stories here so these are the two stories which i have already created from the make story app which i have deleted already but they are still showing if i connect their WordPress plugin and try to fetch all the stories on a page. So this is something very problematic and we can create stories, we can enjoy that on the platform, but there is no way we can link as of now on our website. So this is something not good and need to be fixed so that people can use this plugin and create some awesome stories using their application and I really hope that they fix it soon. So with that said, this is a quick overview of Make Stories application and plugin which a WordPress user can use to create Google Web Stories on this platform and link it to their WordPress website and hopefully in future it will get fixed and show stories properly on the website. So next plugin in our list or I should say next web application in our list to create Google Web Stories is Visual Stories. Let's see how this one works. Now as soon as you land on their website, they are filled with stories in different categories. You have inspirational quotes, you have travel and you have style, entertainment, home and gardening. These guys are killing in every section. I mean as per Google, they are I think mostly showing Google web stories for news, travel and recipes or I guess for local businesses as well. But these guys are getting ready for future. They are creating stories in every category. The good thing about here is that before even registering on their platform, you can see how these stories are working. So let's see one of their story. So if you go ahead and click on that, you can see here is the cover image. We have the text. New thing is we can see the writer or the publisher of the story with the date almost like the WordPress author and the publishing date of the story and again we have the slides here the normal images and the text below this and if you have a video you can mute or unmute the sound we have the share option if you go ahead and click on that they will give you more options to share and the new thing here is while you are watching story on your phone or maybe on a desktop most probably these stories will be visible on phones here you can see that there is a hamburger icon you can click on that it will show your logo with your social media profiles and some different links maybe to go back to home or to different stories which will be interest your viewer to click on it and see more stories on your website now another cool thing is once the story ends you will also get more to explore option where you can just keep continuing watching these stories which was lacking in the google wordpress plugin and i really hope they do that then this is a very good option to keep the viewers on the website or maybe on your story website if you do not have a wordpress website then this plugin or again i should say this web application is the good option for you to go ahead and create some visual stories on your website but again that also comes with some drawbacks which we will discuss later on but still it is very good option for those who do not have a wordpress website and still want to get a taste of google web stories so to create an account you just need to go ahead and sign up you can sign up as an individual or an organization i don't think there is much of a difference almost none so let me just go ahead and add login to my account so let me show you how you can connect this tool to your website so that these stories will be visible on your domain so for that you need to go here and here it says get stories on your site once we click on that it will ask us to create a pwa app on your website so you need to give your website domain and now if the name server of your domain or of your website is provided by any of these providers you have an option to get a subdomain for showcasing your stories 
otherwise you need to create a subfolder in your hosting account and that subfolder will act as your story collection page for example if visualstories.com is your domain name your subfolder may be like web stories will act as the url for showcasing all your stories so if you are not a wordpress user you can still showcase your web stories once you create a web story on this platform they will be published on your website and let me show you live example how your mini website of or, or i should technically say the pwa app of your website will look like showcasing all these web stories so this will be a kind of website you will be getting you have your stories here you will be getting this kind of look once you use this tool to create your web stories the good thing is on the left hand side if you look there is a hamburger icon where you see the branding your social media profiles your different links to different stories and the home page and below that some copyright details and all all this will be done using this tool now here is the downside once you go ahead and register your domain here to create the pwa for showcasing your stories this process is not instant as of now they are doing manual approvals and manual creation of these websites so once you send the request i guess it might take 24 to 40 years hours to get approved and be ready to use this platform for your for creating stories for your domain and after that if you wish to add a logo that is not available from the back end you need to send them logo file they will upload from the back end and then it will show on your pwa website which is not a good sign for a normal user i actually mentioned that point to the developer and i'm sure they will fix that and also if you want to add few pages in the website again you need to contact them to add a about us page or maybe a new logo that thing is not in hands of the user they need to contact the company again to do the things for them which is not very user friendly these guys actually a kind of out of box solution like wix or squarespace for websites this is for creating google web stories you can use their application add the google web stories on your website and showcase them as a mini website even if you do not have a website you can, you can just use this web application to create a new form of website which is only showing stories so this will be a kind of a new concept where the website is only showcasing the content as stories nothing else another problem is that once again you need to be very careful with the url or the slug you choose before publishing your story you cannot edit that here as well again it is a good option for those who do not have a wordpress website and still want to create google web stories so these are the third party tools and third party plugins that we can use to create google web stories to showcase on our wordpress website and for those who do not have a wordpress website and still want to use google web stories they also have an option to do it using visual stories and they both have some drawbacks and i'm sure they will fix that soon but still for those who do not have a wordpress website visual stories could be a very good option for them for me as a wordpress user i will still use google plugin for creating the web stories because it's highly customizable i know there are a lot of features which need to be added in the plugin and i'm sure google will update that maybe by the end of the year if not this summer but still they are customizable they are in control of the creator let me know in the comments below which one would you prefer would you prefer the google's plugin or the make story plugin which has some cool animation and all that stuff but cannot be linked on your website let me know if you are not a wordpress website user and wish to create stories using visual stories or if you have tried that already let me know in the comments below what you think about visual stories and how it's going on for your website and i'll see you in the next video